Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to the bike build. Um, it's progressing quite nicely now. We're uh, actually putting things back together, but uh, still loads to be done. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, like, press the bell notification thing. And if you're coming back, thanks for coming back. And if you're watching and not subscribing, which most people still do, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. Liking the video also helps us out. Um, and if you don't like it, boo a thumbs down, leave me a comment, either way, I always try and reply. So getting back to Nahomal on the Wednesday. I've continued polishing these, and they're coming up quite nice now. A little bit more work, but I'll carry on with them, get them nice and shiny. But that's for next week. That's for next week, I think. Um, so my new disc has arrived and it is in pretty good condition. I'm going to paint, repaint the black around the middle. So that's to paint. The bracket for the coils is to paint. The bracket for the rear light is to paint. This needs doing. I've got to uh, cut that out. I'm going to do that later. The footrests. I cut them away ages ago it seems like now that's the left hand side no it's not this that's the right hand side with the brick master cylinder there so this is the other side what I've realized is there's no sort of chain guard so I've got a piece of three mil aluminium and what I'm going to make is basically to match that shape a little heel guard and I bend it there so it sits across the top then drill it tap it put a couple of screws in these will then be going for powder coating because I think they're going to get quite a lot of hammer so they're going to go for powder coating with the side stand which is we know is okay now I've got the other bits of the footrests to clean up I'm just going to polish these up I'm not going to powder coat these well, I could. No, I'm not going to powder coat them. Um, so those bits are to do. So I think first job is to mark up this bit of plate, get that cut out, bent, drilled, tapped, then that's another job out the way. Then I can mark this up, get this cut out, and that's ready for paint as well. Although I'll have to get some plastic primer. And I've also got, as I mentioned before, the thermostat cover, which was missing when I bought the bike. So I'm just going to rub that down piece of plastic primer it that's going to be painted right let's get on with it
I've fastened that on with a couple of old screen screws. They're the only length, five mil, tapped it out five mil. I had to go all the way through in the end, there just wasn't enough meat to try and do it in a blind hole. So I'll get some nice stainless screws and I'll make sure that they're cut off. That one's not bad, that one just sticks out a little bit. But basically, that is it. That sort of mirrors, mirrors that. So I'll clean that up. I may get that powder coated with them. I don't know yet. What I might do is do something like, so what I might do is put something like that in. Number 16, get all them powder coated. Maybe just get that powder coated. Possibly even the foot pegs. Don't know yet. Um, there'll be a load of bits going. So I'll have to decide on that and I will leave that as a surprise descending what I, what I do. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a pit. Well, actually, I'm not going to be able to cut that out, am I? And leave that hole, obviously. Um, I might just do a series of holes. I'll leave that as a surprise. I've cut that out. There's a little bit on there that on another model there is something, but I might fill that anyway. I like that with the idea of the chain, but the line naturally goes there. So I'm going to try it on the bike and see if it wants just cutting back to there where it looks the more natural line of the piece of plastic. I'll have to see that one. And then that one's cleaning up and that can go in the painting pile. The battery tray that needs making and I have got a lovely piece of aluminium. So I'm going to make a ba the battery tray out of alloy. Ooh. I've started marking it out. So I've got to cut that out and then bend that and then that can be drilled and that'll be the final one that goes on there just a little bit lighter so we'll do that next That's that now done. Didn't show everything just because you saw me make the, the steel one. So there's the steel one, and there's the alloy one. And the difference is massive. I was going to actually drill some holes in this, cut some holes in to lighten it up, but it wears next to nothing. So what I've got is some self-adhesive neoprene that I'm going to stick on the top of there so the battery sits on that. So what I'm going to do is either cut a couple of holes in there to put a strap around, or I might which is probably the way I'll go actually and then I can put a strap around there and that with the neoprene so I can put a strap around there like that and then with the neoprene that's not going to go anywhere so that is another thing done and that can be all cleaned up now it's not bad but give it all a bit of a push that's it's on there quite nice that covers the uh, ECU The battery sits on there like that, about level, so that'll also help it not slide around. Nice little bit of clearance. So that's that done. Right, that's it for this time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next Wednesday when I will be doing... I don't know what I'll be doing, but it won't involve anything from the kitchen. See you next Wednesday.